Weight loss, something so many of us have battled at some point in our lives. But something that one former UK quarterback has battled for his entire life. Wave 3 Sports Director Kent Taylor joining us now with his latest struggle, and he's very public about this. He's used to being big, but not this big, and he wants to help people. He wants to change lives. He was over 13 pounds at birth. He has nicknames like the Pillsbury Throw Boy. But after going through a divorce and the end of his football career, Jared Lorenzen found himself going down a dangerous road. Look, if you continue this, you're going to die. That was the message from doctors as Jared Lorenzen had ballooned to his heftiest, over 500 pounds. Now I'm sitting in my house at, uh, you know, I get home from work 5, 36 o'clock, and it's like, well, yeah, give me some pizza. Well, I'll make it two and let me have some ice cream and brownies and what it was just things just kept piling on, piling on. The hefty lefty had become the supersized salesman. When I started thinking of if I died tonight, if I didn't wake up tomorrow, what would people say? And it's a weird place to go down. But I said, uh, what would they say? And most I would think everybody would go, well, Jesus, look what he did to himself, of course. UK fans know Lorenzen as a larger-than-life quarterback who's still the all-time leading passer in school history. He threw for over 10,000 yards from 2000 to 2003. He even played a few seasons in the NFL and got a Super Bowl ring with the Giants in 2008. He was always as big as his offensive lineman and happy to go by the man-sized monikers that came with his pudgy persona. Abominable snowman, mobile, agile, hostile, and hungry. BBQ, big beautiful quarterback is what I thought it would stand for, but I just figured barbecue. Aircraft carrier, air launcher. People know me probably better as the hefty lefty or J-Lo than they do my normal name. So I, I've always embraced it. Initially it was J-Lo because I thought eventually she's going to want to meet me. Like this name's going to get out and she's going to want to meet me. There has to. And that never happened, or hasn't happened yet. He was at his J largest in 2014, playing quarterback for the indoor Northern Kentucky River Monsters when his first video went viral. A broken leg that started him on a path to more pizzas. Then J-Lo met Anthony Holt, a Los Angeles producer who'd already made a film with former cat Antoine Walker. Holt wanted to team up with the really hefty lefty. I don't know what I am now. This whole project isn't about what I weigh and where I'm going to. It's not Jared loses 200 pounds. It's Jared goes until he's off his medication. He can sleep well at night. He can wake up without back pain. He has done the full uh, life change. Not This isn't a diet that I'm on. Holt, along with Hollywood trainer Gunnar Peterson and nutritionist to the stars, Dr. Philip Goglia, are all part of the Jared Lorenzen Project. They sent him this custom trailer complete with thin Jared goal picks and all the workout equipment that he'll need. His childhood friend, Brendan Stowers, is now his on-site personal trainer. Let's do a documentary, year long, two years long, however long it takes, to just see what fighting obesity is like. Lorenzen hosts weekly Wednesday nights with Jared Walks, and he posts videos on Facebook. Read my messages. Uh, go on Facebook and read those. I mean, the, the messages I've gotten so far, um, I'm like, you're inspiring me. This needed a face. And cool, I'll take it and I'll run with it. Now, Jared says he's doing this 98% for his two kids. He wants to show them how to make better choices, better choices on what to eat, better choices in life. The other 2% for all the people who are now behind him and supporting him, who he says have come out of the woodwork. Yeah, he's going to save some lives with his message. I and he hopes his own because at over yeah. 500 pounds, he hasn't been on the scale in a while, but mm -hmm. yeah, he, he needs to lose 200 pounds or more. Wow, amazing. Yeah. Loved so, watching him play, yeah, too. I'm so glad that he's sharing that story. It's incredible.